Welcome to my desktop. Recently I've had several subscribers tell me they've been having problems with Farm Simulator 17 and that they uh, either have corrupted files or they have mod conflicts and they can't find them and sometimes their game won't even load. And so I've got a little program here that I use. It's a program called uh, Mod Folder Switcher Plus or MFS Plus for short. And it's a very simple program but it works very well. So what I've done is you can see mine is fairly well full. I did delete a couple of things here where it says select folders and empty folder and I'll show you how to how to do this. Now first of all you need to understand how Farm Simulator uh, 17 works with mods. Farm Simulator is one of those games that then there are many of them out there that allows you to use mods but Farm Simulator 17 makes you put all the mods in one folder. There's only one mod folder. Now that's not a problem if you're only just going to play one map with mods in it. Where the real issue comes in is when you start playing multiple farms. And as you see, I am playing multiple farms. I have a, a, a button here for uh, Nic Nicolonia, Maverick, Don Diego, Texas, on and on and on. Uh, what happens is the mod makers, when they make a map, they can make them very simple or they make them very complicated. There's some that have a lot of scripts in them. There's some of them that have actual mods built into the map itself. So how do we make this program work? Well, the first thing is, let's make a couple of folders. Let's make a new folder. I'm going to put it on the desktop just for simplicity's sake uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it Farm Sim Maps. Okay. Now I'm going to make another folder and I'm going to call it Complete Mod List. All right, now that I've got my two folders, now I apologize in advance here for I'm using a 4K system, so the icons are kind of small. Just follow the cursor here and you'll see where I'm looking. We've got our farm sim map here and we've got our complete mod list here. Let me open up the farm sim map folder that we created, which should be empty, and it is, because we haven't put anything in it yet. And then let's open up our complete mod list folder and we'll put it over here. Now, this is my complete mod list. What I did was I categorized everything. I have all my combines in one folder, farm equipment in another, placeables, miscellaneous. This is one that has all the maps in it that I'm going to use, uh, tractors, trucks and trailers, that kind of stuff. So first of all, select a map. So I'm going to play Chellington because I don't uh, currently play that. So let me make a new folder within uh, my map folder here, my farm sim map folder, and I'm going to call it Chellington. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. So we have a Chellington folder. Now that we have Chellington in our mod folder over here, we're going to put some other mods in. Let's grab a combine. Uh, let's just grab this uh, Cat Lexian over here, and we're going to copy that, place it over here. And let's go back. Let's grab a tractor. Let's just grab this case Steiger. We're going to copy that. Place it over here. And you get the idea. You want to load this up with all the mods that you want on Chellington. So how do we make this thing work? Well, we're going to select a button to put Chellington in. There's an empty one here and there's an empty one here. As you see, everything else is full for me. I actually had to delete these to do this tutorial because I uh, play a lot of, of maps. Let's select this one. It opens up a pop-up. Now, I did put that folder on the desktop, so it should be right here. There it is right there, Farm Sim Maps. We're going to select that. And then we're going to select Chellington. And we're going to say OK. Then it wants you to name it. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to call it Chellington. And you say OK. You select what color you want Chellington to be. 
uh, let me do a plum and then you click when you're finished now there's Chellington now you want to play Chellington all you do is you open up this program you, you click on Chellington and you open up farm sim alrighty here we are let's choose a career now you'll notice that we have big red question marks here on my save games why well because if you notice this is Don Diego this is Cherry Hills this is Port West Felicia um, they are in their own folder so FS 17 cannot see them because we selected the Chellington button on MFS 17 MFS plus so we need to select an empty slot which I happen to have deleted a game so that I could do this so we're gonna select that and we're gonna continue select easy normal or hard you're gonna see Goldcrest Valley you're gonna see Sosnovka those are built into the game these are the vanilla maps and then we're only gonna see one more and it's Chellington and there it is continue select your character continue and these are my DLCs. They're built right into Farm uh, Sim 17, so they're always going to be here. But these are the three that we just put in that folder K Steiger, Cat Lexion, and the Chillington. And then you just start your game and play and have fun. Let's go back to the desktop. All right, we quit out of FS 17. We're back on the desktop. Now we want to play another game. What do you do? First of all, you open up your map folder that you made and it should only have Chellington in it. We're going to make another folder. We're going to call it, uh, well, I don't know. Let's call it Texas. All right, so we got that made. We open up our complete mod list. We go to maps. And do I have, te there's Texas right there. We're going to copy that and we're going to place it in that folder that we named Texas over here and then we're going to go back and we're going to grab a combine let's do a big hoss one let's go and do now I should have uh, probably uh, copied that because it moved it out of my mod list you saw that didn't you <laughs> now that that mods out of my mod list I should have copied it I didn't I did it on purpose just to show you what would happen um, if you have your complete mod list in a different full uh, drive like I do I keep my um, mod list in drive D and my game is on drive F so I keep them separate I don't want them on the same drive that's just me if you have a computer only has one drive you can do it this way like I'm showing you let's do uh, a tractor let's do the case quad I'm gonna copy it this time so it doesn't move it over and paste it over there now our Texas folder should have should have Big Boss uh, Case Quadric and the Texas map it does let's close that out find another empty folder or button here we're gonna click on that and again we're gonna come down to farm sim maps there's Texas that we just created click on that okay and we're gonna name it I already have a Texas so I'm gonna name it Texas 2 there we go and let's make it green click here there's my Texas 2 now we want to play Texas you click on that you start the game again we're gonna select a career and we're gonna find an empty slot select that continue normal Again, Goldcrest Valley, we should see Sosnovka, and next we should see Texas. And there it is. Continue with that. Select your character. And there are the North Texas, the Red Baron, and the Case Cutter that we put in there. So what happens is when you decide to play a game, the only mod that's going to go in it is the mod that you have in the folder that you select and I'll show you mine this is my mod folder I keep everything in this folder I keep all of my uh, zip filed games I keep my full mod list up here 
and I keep all these are all the maps that I'm playing there's a ton of them they're all separated again I keep my mods uh, well here let me show you so let's just take a look at Texas since we were just on Texas I'm gonna open up my Texas folder and look at all the mods I've got on Texas I've got a ton of mods on Texas and none of them conflict and there you go I hope this was helpful for you and uh, one more note before I go this program is almost impossible to find if you do go out there and look for it you're probably gonna find FS 15 it's not the same program uh, I searched and searched and searched and couldn't find this anywhere so I can't give you a link to it if you already have it then you don't need to worry if you don't have it I'm gonna put it on my Google Drive and I'll put a link to that in the description so that you can download this thing from me I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you're having fun playing Farm Simulator 2017 and I hope to see you on one of my farms in the near future happy farming